A Cure for AIDS. Get sued. Win the suit and have a patent. And they put them out the country, dang it. You know what I'm saying? Dr. Savy had a cure for AIDS, cancer, everything, he all had holistic. A cure for disease. Disease, disease, yes. Disease. 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 And he was talking about the alkalinity, the alkaline and the acid. Mm -hmm. And alkaline. it's, it's the, so much acid in our bodies is what produce, produces the disease. The mucus, yeah. And the mucus, yeah. He know how to get that out of there. Mm -hmm. um, left eye. Before Left Eye mm -hmm. died, when Left Eye was going out to the country, when she was in, um, That's what she was going to see she him. She was going to see him. Mm -hmm. Where was that? Costa Rica? No, it's Honduras. 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 Mm -hmm. She was going to see Dr. Sabi and getting treatments. You know, she had issues and she was going mm -hmm. out there really getting those treatments. Um, some fake, some shaky about the Left Eye murder. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean death. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but Dr. Sabi was a dog. Like, look, uh, 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 what's that boy name? Teddy Pentagrass? You know, Teddy Pendergrass was in a car accident right outside my hometown of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Then Hammond ride with one of them um, trans, your Hermes. Mm -hmm. And um, got in an accident while I was getting some, um, I guess what you would call, toppy. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> while driving, right, whatever, he got in a wreck and got paralyzed and, and had no, from neck down. He went to go see Dr. Sabi. Dr. Sabi gave him motion back and once his little wimmy whacker started working, he got it to his waist down. Um, he told Dr. Sabi, I ain't playing no black doctor, nothing. You ain't do nothing to me. I heal myself. Mm. And Dr. Sabi could have got him all his um, health back. But he's like, okay, well, whatever. Um, Magic Johnson. When Magic Johnson got caught with the magic touch, you heard me? He went to go see Dr. Sabi. A lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm that's saying? Why, that's why he's see. still here. Yeah, because he, he did the magic. And he's Dr. Sabi put the magic touch on him. Almost like he was terrible. Exactly, because mm -hmm. the doctor saved you, you know, so like when we understand that we lost some uh, somebody a healer. A healer. So what were the circumstances, do y'all know, surrounding his transition? I don't know, but what? he was just in jail last I, month. I, I know that, being in jail. But what, for what? He Be had, well, the they said he was laundering money. He was caught on a plane with about $30,000. And they were make money, that. man, pay that man. And they caught him at the airport. He had been in jail since then, but while he was in jail, he caught pneumonia that they didn't treat him for. Man, so they pneumonia. gave him pneumonia up yeah. in jail. The doctor said, said he caught pneumonia. You know, they be trying to sterilize you in jail. This is the, hey. Boy, the they be course. playing. But, and we done lost over 50 holistic healers in the last year. Oh, mm -hmm. man. People they that's kill, really putting it them down. Off. Left yeah. and right. They knocking you know, them off. Yes. They knocking them off. Who knocking them off? They. Who is they? Them. <laughs> you know, it's bad out here, man. Yeah, they don't want us to live. They want us to get on those medications that are putting toxins in our bodies. And food is our medicine. So we got to combat that, okay. y'all. We yeah. got to combat that however we can. Cook at your house. Yeah. And look, I'm a chef. I'm, I'm telling you, I ain't trying to lose my business, you know what I'm saying? Let me cook for you. But, um, you know, these fast food, these chains, man, don't do it. You wonder why you don't like it no more, because then it got big and all the sauce come in the packet now. Everything mm -hmm. boiled or, you know, frozen or pre-made or something, man. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. Microwave generation. Yeah. Everything now. Don't want to cut up nothing, start and, from scratch. And, and grow you some fruits, yeah. man. We got all these urban farmers, these black ants, as they calling them out here, and they putting in, they digging in that work, man. Shout out to Drake you know, Taylor. They said everybody ain't got to vote, but we gonna grow some tomatoes or something, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and feed the community while y'all go. However, mm -hmm. you gotta make it and mix it up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Y'all went to the Drake Taylor event, tell me, tell me about it. Oh man, awesome. He, he's doing it. This man's what? name is synonymous with that wealth, uh, that, that, that getting it together for our health, mm -hmm. ain't it? Yes. He's got a, a aquatics um, aquarium on 27th and Wabash. Yeah, aquatics, yeah, 29th and Wabash. And yes. he needs our help. He, they started a co-op and they need everybody's hands in it. And it's not going to work unless we do it together. So they, can't do it yeah, they can't do it alone. And, um, yeah. And not to mention it's beneficial. Yeah. For, for, for everybody. everybody. Because when you go to the pro, what wipe you at the grocery store? The produce section. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, quick health note, man. Y'all, when y'all go to the grocery store and make groceries, y'all to shop, man, look at it. Shop the perimeter of the grocery store. Yeah. Stay out the sale aisle. Stay out the middle. Everything in the middle is just what's killing in us. In the top shelves. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's what's killing us. You know what I'm saying? So move around and get your, your fresh fruit and get your meats and your dairy or whatever you do. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But stay out there. Well, you know, some of us is meditarians. Yeah, <laughs> we need to kind of get away from that. Or yeah. right. have it in moderation because they yeah. putting all these hormones and pumping these cows. And, and I can just yeah. say for myself, yeah. I'm not necessarily a vegetarian, but I did cut out red meat from my diet. And I've noticed a lot uh, just the amount of increasing your live, your live so foods to cook foods. I'm with that. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? In in increase your sides and your veggies to your protein and lower your, yeah. you know. But I'm about my meat. <laughs> Yeah, I still eat meat. I still eat chicken. I really. I, I, I think it's a life saving, giving some kind of connection with us devouring flesh that had blood. I don't know what it is. I think it is though. I don't know. I ate some. But do you know how old some of these meat like dead? Are you eating? Well, you know, I, I try to butcher what I can butcher. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm a fresh. That's guy. what I, I mean. mean if you're gonna eat it, you it, kill it yourself. And it all depends on how you want to feel. If you want to. Be lethargic True. and be, you know, walking around here. You're gonna eat dead flesh, but if you want to live and be alive, eat no, live you. foods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to eat something that's dead? You're gonna I hear you. You know what I'm slumped saying? over. Y'all ain't gonna beat me with the celery. <laughs> no, I promise you. There's ways Don't worry. you can cook it. You gotta find the recipes. The you know? Man, I am a uh, chef. It is not. You're not about to tell me nothing about. Oh, it's how you. I'm a chef. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. I make you taste. You know what I'm saying? I, I cook. I mm -hmm. cook. So, like, let's get on and get to something else. We're going to talk about something else.